Sean Dyche has given his pre-match press conference ahead of Everton's game with Bournemouth at Goodison Park on Saturday. The Blues boss confirmed that James Tarkovsky should return to the squad. He was rested for Everton's victory on Tuesday night against Doncaster Rovers. He had been doubtful for the Blues trip to Tottenham last week, but he did play in it. Uh, but he is back in the squad. There'll be checks made on James Garner and Seamus Coleman, who came through an hour of Everton's uh, Carabao Cup win on Tuesday. They'll be checked. Uh, every other player who hasn't been involved so far isn't expected to be back for a few weeks still. It's Evans' last game, of course, before the international break. But within that, there is a transfer window. Everton are hoping to do business before 11 o'clock tomorrow night. One of those players should arrive on Merseyside if he's not already here now by the time this goes out. He is uh, Orel Mangala, who is coming in on loan from Leon. Everton have beaten off Fiorentina for his uh, his signature. This is what Sean Dyche had to say about Mangala. I don't think my words can jinx it. I'm not superstitious, but no, he's a, he's a player who, who is, is making his way over, but there's still a lot to do with the, the details of any deal, um, as there always is, of course. Um, but well, there's, there's got a chance of us um, uh, getting him over and, and seeing if that deal can be done. How important would it be to add a centre midfielder of his stature? I think it's important to add any players. You know, he's got a, a bit more know-how than the other signers we brought in, having played in the Premier League a little bit more. Um, we'll see, but he's got to get here first, and we haven't got him here first. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, yet, yeah, sorry, so we'll see if the deal gets done. There you go. Sean Dyche has wanted the centre midfielder all summer. He said it on a couple of occasions. Mangala has got the Premier League experience, which the manager loves. He is in the Belgian squad. I think he's been capped 19 times, something like that, by Belgium. So he's a good player. He was he was a little bit up and down at Nottingham Forest. Let's not dress it up. But he comes in, he's an extra player in the squad. Uh, and that, that can only help Everton. So he will be coming in on loan, it looks like. One player leaving Goodison Park today is Neil Maupai. Uh, he hasn't been used by Sean Dyche. He obviously spent last season on loan at Brentford. He'd come back pre-season, but some of the stuff that went on last season and comments he made, he was never, ever going to have a future at Goodison Park. Um, and he is going off to Marseille with a loan with an obligation to buy it is. So there we go with that one. This is what the manager had to say about Mopay. Yeah, there's a possible situation um, where I'll be leaving the club. There's nothing guaranteed yet, um, but he will be travelling over and seeing if that deal can happen. You were pretty open last week. So with that sale of Mopai to Leon, the manager was asked about the possibility of more incomings before tomorrow night's 11 o'clock deadline. This was his, uh, his take on that question. Not necessarily. I mean, it, you know, the money is absorbed into the club in different ways, so we'll have to wait and see. And it's not just money you understand, it's the availability at this late stage of the, the window. You know, who's out there, who could be done, who who might not be able to be done, that sort of thing. So, uh, but yeah, that'll be that'll be... You know, coming at us as it does, sort of thing. When um, when we've got a chance to operate, we will. On the back of that, Everton remain in talks with Leon for winger Ernest Newmar. He is um, he's being put forward apparently by John Texter, but he's exactly what Everton need in terms of someone with pace. He does play predominantly on the the left hand side. Uh, sorry, on the right hand side as a left footed winger, but he can play on the left as well. He does use both of his feet. He is very quick. Very, very highly rated. He will be a permanent deal uh, coming in from Leon if that can be done. The trophies remain hopeful on him. Um, I think he'd be a good sign. And listen, Everton have been crying out for pace. We are crying out for pace in wide areas. We've we've been trying to get Wilfred Nontro for the last 12 months or longer than that. It hasn't been able to be done. They thought they had Jan Kuba Minter earlier in June, but that was dependent on Calvert-Lewin joined in Newcastle, it didn't happen. Therefore, Everton have been looking around for a, an alternate player who plays wide and has got pace. Newamar does have that extra pace, that exciting pace. Hopefully, Everton can get him. He is a player, he's 20 years of age. He'd come in, he's an asset. We haven't signed too many assets of late. We've been selling them off. You have to future-proof the squad. And uh, I do think he would be, you know, he'd be a good signing for Everton. He's obviously a work in progress, but... Someone with that kind of pace that can get at defenders gives Everton something that they haven't got in the squad. So hopefully, hopefully Everton could get that one over the line. One player leaving Everton today 
is Halad Jangpata, the under-21 midfielder who is a Italian, he's got Italian citizenship. Well, apparently he has landed in Italy ahead of his move to Serie B side Spezia. Uh, he hasn't been able to break into Sean Dyche's thinking for the first team and it uh, looks like he is about to leave Everton permanently for the Italian club. So good luck to him if that deal is uh, finalised later today. And finally, Everton will play Southampton at home in the Carabao Cup third round. The Blues were drawn last night uh, at home to the Saints after beating Doncaster Rovers 3-0 on Tuesday night. Um, Southampton won 5-3 at Cardiff last night to set up that tie at Goodison Park and that game will be played the week of the 16th of September. There you go. That is it for the News Daily. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't because why wouldn't you? Thanks for watching. See you later.